Daniel Penny, the man who put Jordan Neely in a deadly chokehold on a New York City subway, arrived with his attorney at a Manhattan police precinct to turn himself in on Friday. He's expected in court later today. He did so voluntarily and with the sort of dignity and integrity that is characteristic of his history of service to this grateful nation. The 24-year-old Marine being charged with manslaughter in the second degree with a maximum penalty of 15 years, according to prosecutors. Manslaughter is a reckless killing of another individual with no intent. Penny's surrender to police comes after days of protests around New York. Activists had been demanding Penny's arrest, some calling Neely's death a, quote, lynching. Mayor Eric Adams calling the death a tragedy. One thing we can say for sure, Jordan Neely did not deserve to die. Penny was seen on a viral video from May 1st restraining Neely in a chokehold for at least three minutes as other passengers hold Neely down. The 30-year-old was later pronounced dead at the hospital. The medical examiner ruled the death a homicide. Neely was known to impersonate Michael Jackson on trains and in stations, but since 2007, according to his family, he had been dealing with mental health issues and homelessness. Police say he was harassing the train's passengers and making threats, but was not physically violent. It needs to be uh, made clear that there are consequences when a civilian takes a situation into their own hands and causes a fatality. Penny's attorneys say the Marine vet acted to protect himself and the facts will come out in court. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.